Hello everyone, welcome to a different video. This time I'm going to be looking at myself with a fine tooth comb. Since I came back from Cardigan Bay, I have suffered quite badly with sciatica. I missed golf for a week, maybe a bit more than I played in a competition at Lillybrook. I wasn't ready for it. It took four and a half hours to get round and from the first tee, I was in trouble and I shot 85 and I'll put that up here somewhere so you can see that I'm not telling porkies so it's been a bit of a struggle I haven't been able to practice I've had one session and it was very bad I've fallen into some old bad habits with the grip with the takeaway you know when you bow that left wrist and you can drive a bus between your your arm and your body so there's a few of those in there. You'll have seen that creeping in at, on the second Gloucester video, you will most certainly seen it in my one year video, and you're probably gonna see a bit of it tonight as well. Tonight, today, whatever. Whatever part of the world you're in. Also, I'm not aiming very well. Now, one of the things with lugging a camera around is, you know, you're planting the camera, you're picking a spot to aim over, you're taking a practice swing, you're going back to the camera, you're hitting record, you're coming back to the ball, and you don't always get set up how you want to be. Despite all the precautions you take to get set up and aiming the right direction, sometimes you just don't do it. So you're gonna see a bit of that on this video. Now, don't let the score fool you. I hold some putts which I wouldn't normally hold. So forget the score, just look at the long game. Now I'm going to criticise myself quite heavily here because I've always been my own biggest critic. Critic! 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 Yeah, critic! <laughs> Where have I gone? I've gone completely... I've never needed outside criticism to tell me that I'm shit. I'm very well aware that sometimes I'm shit. Now, I've always overswung. I've always folded the left arm a bit at the top of the backswing, and it's always hurt me. And I've always done lots and lots of practice of timing to make the body and the arms work together. Of course, with the back problems, I can't practice at the moment and we're coming into autumn once a week golf it's it's going to deteriorate from here basically now as we're on the subject of scores i want to talk about scores i've only played three qualifiers at lilybrook this year because of the problems and because so many people want to play it's hard to actually get into a competition and I've had back problems, and I've had some old. So this year's a bit of a washout competition-wise. So my handicap is based at my old golf course, Chewsbury Park, 6,550 yards, par 72. So when I play away, and I'm playing 5,600 yards, I'm playing 1,000 yards less than what my handicap is based on. And I know you might say, oh, that doesn't make a difference. But ignoring the four par threes, and you just think about the 14 par fours and par fives, that means every hole is 62 yards shorter than what I'm handicapped from. That's six clubs. That's the difference between driver four iron and driver nine iron. So when you see my scores, just remember that I'm playing a golf course that is 900 or a thousand yards shorter than what my handicap is based at. I can assure you that if I was if I was playing these golf courses full length, I would be shooting around my handicap or even over my handicap. So that I am flattered, my scores are flattered by a short golf course. And if you don't believe me, next time you go and play, go to your competition tee on the 14 par 4s and par 5s, walk forward 62 yards, plant your tee peg and play from there. 
and then come back and tell me that it wasn't any easier at all. Anyway, let's get to the video, shall we? There's no music. It's just going to be voiceover and me tearing myself apart. Right, let's get started. What I'm looking for here is where I'm aiming and whether I'm bowing that left wrist in the takeaway. I'm aiming just left of centre and hoping to catch the downslope past the 150. Oh, there's lovely, sir. Uh, oh, big bang, sir. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like that on Sunday. Yeah, you know what? That'll only be 120 yards short. First shot was fine. Here comes the second. Got a nine iron here. Flag is back right. And I'm taking this on. Yeah, shot. Just for a change, I actually feel good. So I'm aiming, I don't know, about nine, ten feet left of the flag. A little bit of a push. Lands on just the edge of the green and then dribbles down the slope. Good length, though. Got a little too cute with this one and only just got it up to the top of the hill. Not so clever. Second attempt, a lot easier. Bogey to start with. My last five drives here were two snap hooks and three slices and that's yet another Same bad thing. shot bowed left wrist yeah. you come back on the slope of the fairway. this is really awkward the flag is front right the tree is in my way and i catch just one leaf on the way down almost hole it just rolls past the hole Leaves myself 10 feet back, which I hold for a bird, and didn't record. Muppet time again. Flag is all the way at the back. And this did not fade one inch. I've drilled this to the back of the green. Uh, and it's in a really awkward position. Smash by the big boy. <laughs> no, I've not had this chip before. So I've got no memory of what the ball is going to do when it hits the green, when it hits the downslope. But I've guessed this pretty good, all the same. Number four. Now I don't tend to hit too many bad drives on this. I'm just aiming a fraction left and going with my stock little fade. And it's an absolute peach. So nothing wrong with that one. Yeah, Sunday I was on the fifth. This second shot is playing all awkward. The ball's on the flat, but my feet are on the slope. This is going to be very difficult to uh, actually hit square. The flag is way up the green. I got plenty of space to get to this flag. Tiny, tiny bit chunky, tiny, tiny bit bottom groove, but it's on the green. I'm happy with that one. I've had this lag a few times, so there's absolutely no surprises for me on this putt. Now this tee shot has been giving me some bother recently. I need to draw it. And as a natural fader, some days I can draw the ball, some days I can't. I'm, I'm definitely not trying to draw this. I'm just trying to hit a dead straight shot. 
bit of a push, but then the ground gives me a bit of a ground hook. Members bounce. Nice members bounce. Five iron, very awkward. Ball slightly above the feet. I'm just set up. I'm aiming correctly here because I am set up to try and hit a little, little draw and all I've done is hit it dead straight at the bunker. Now this is awkward. I wish I was in that taller rough and a fluffy lie. Then I could go for the green. Oh, sorry, go for the flag. But off this slightly tighter lie, and it's a down slope, I don't have a lot of choice, but I've got to play a little safer. And that came out quite low, despite me using a sound wedge. All I can That's do. the tight lie. And I've had this put a few times, so I'm okay with this. Oh yes, oh, yes. <laughs> Papa, did you um I had that one on Sunday so I had a little advantage there. Did you make sure the record was on? Yeah. This tee shot has caused me some bother. I've been pulling it left into the trees. Let's see where my feet are aiming. Yeah, I'm aiming correctly. I'm going straight down the path. I wanted to hit a little fade and I kinda like hit it pretty straight. So much better. Now Rob told me I rushed my downswing on this one, but I think it's the bowed wrist. Yep, bowed wrist. Can't square the club face, can't get it back to where it started from. Low and right. I think you recognise that shot. And I'm here again. Well, if a playing partner gives you the gift of showing you the line, you better have your eyes open. That did not turn much. They don't on you. You wait till they're uh, nice and flat again. I missed it right on Sunday from about the same position, so I think I've learnt anything. We yeah. have. Yes. Put that in your memory box. Five iron is plenty up this slope, but I fear I come down on this a little steep and just a little high on the blade, so it doesn't get up the green as far as I would like. Yeah, yeah. nice. Smoking! I need to aim at your ball. Double off. Save the double. Desperate to do that. You'll be green. Get in. Come <laughs> on, Shearer. <laughs> I hold nothing on Sunday. I'm expecting good things by me. Not yeah, even three Sunday. and four footers. <laughs> I'm not sure what happens here. I just don't think I was switched on and concentrating. But it's low and to the right, which suggests another bowed wrist. Now I would like a good lie here and a four iron, and so I could hit a low hook. But I got a bad lie, I've got a hybrid. And it's popped up to the right. Not sure if I could have done anything different. Mm. This time I've got a good lie. And I can just about reach the green. So there should be no problem with the hybrid here. Hitting a high draw. Getting it back onto my own hole. Mm. 
that comes out low. It hits the very last small tree, which kicks it to the left and back onto my hole. So I'm here. 35, 40 yards. I've chosen a 9 iron. I've picked a spot on that sand. And that's short. So it's not going to reach the hole. Landed it short. Short on my target. I was a little worried about the tines here because I know the ball will follow the holes so I didn't hit it hard enough and sure enough it did something weird on the holes. That sometimes happens. I just popped this drive up a little bit possibly coming down too steep into it but that's nitpicking it is a really good drive very high yeah. I took it and here is our last chance to see me bowing the left wrist on the takeaway I'm aiming correctly don't worry about the aim there's the bow there's the low off the bottom of the face thin that is horrid now this is a shit or bust shot I couldn't see a way of making a par. There are several ways of making a bogey. I could have played out to the left. But um, I decided to have a go at this forwards. Just hit a branch of the tree above me. Anger management. Right. Now for the bogey, although this is harder than I had planned. But that is a perfect 10 or 12 feet left of the flag. Let it run down the slope. Pin high. Got me bogey. So there's my issues. I'm bowing that left wrist on the takeaway, which is causing oh, me to uh, not get the club back bad, to the ball properly. Such a bad shot. Although I seem to have solved my aiming issues.